Hello, hello, everyone. I'm Howard, music supervisor here at Ava Technologies, and this beautiful breakbeat piece that you just heard was generated using the most recent update of Composition Workflow, which now allows you to import your own custom style to further personalize your composition. And in this video, I will show you step by step on how I created this exact composition that you just heard by using our new feature. So without further ado, let's begin. First, let's go to our homepage and go to the styles tab, because the first thing that we want to do is to create our own style. So go click the fat green button on the top right and click styles. And this is where we can create our style. And now that we're in the interface, let's give our style a name first. So I'm going to name it sad piano type break beat. This perfectly describes the kind of sound that I'm going for for the style. I want something sad, emotional, or even borderline emo break beat with sad sounding atmospheric piano and maybe some violins playing the melody on top of it would be great too. So all right, let's deal with settings. So first of all, dynamic range. I want something where one section plays something soft, followed by another section with something loud. So we want a higher dynamic range so that we can convey more depth and emotion. So in that case, I'm going to go with the default from softest to the loudest. But at the same time, I want that emotional journey that our listeners are taking to develop gradually and consistently. So I don't want any tempo variation. So it feels consistent. And I also want the harmony to feel the same way too. So in the harmonic data set, let's select harmonic packs that are simple, easy to follow. Uh, so I think in that case, the simple chords one, two, three, and four, and even five, all the simple chords harmonic packs will be ideal, especially for simple chords five. As you can see, it contains seventh chords because with seven chords, you have that fourth note, the seventh notes as the extension to the chords, and that tends to lead to more emotionally rich sounding chords. And that's the kind of stuff that we want to go for. So in that case, I'm also going to select seventh chord two and seventh chord three. And as you can read from the description here, it literally reads poppy, emotional seventh chord progressions. And these are exactly what we want. Awesome. And since we're dealing with the break beat genre, so let's go ahead with setting our tempo range from 130 to 150. That's the genre convention. Um, for our development types, which you can access here from going to the drop down menu from development, we can go to structure development and let's select those that cater to the electronic genres which we're working under. So in that case, let's deselect song one and select electronic song one and two. And also let's do Deep House 1 and 2 as well, like why not, right? Uh, by selecting these styles, we will have that sweet sounding filter envelopes that are so common in modern electronic music. So, you know, we spice things up a bit for our composition. All right, moving on, let's move on to populating some instruments into our styles. So as we discussed, we want the piano to play the sad emotional chords, right? So perhaps let's start with picking the right kind of pianos that we want. I'm gonna deselect pop piano and then go ahead with adding something cinematic, something, oh, there we go, cinematic piano. And let's go for something atmospheric. That's exactly what I want. And let's pair it up with a nice accompaniment pack. And since we're talking about seventh chord, so let's definitely go for something that allows seventh chord. And in that case, the fully sustained chord four voices will be a perfect match because it also provides the fourth voice, the, the seventh note extension that we want. All right, so we got the chords layer covered and let's move on to the bass layer. And for the bass layer, let's use the most simple sign bass like those like the same kind of sign bass that you hear in 808 music or in modern electronic music in general so that we get the rich deep sub that is ubiquitous in modern electronic music 
And let's pick the one with sidechain compression. So we really go hard on that electronic music production techniques, the electronic music production strategies that most electronic producers are using nowadays. So with that taken care of, let's move on with the melody. So let's go ahead with adding a melody layer. And as I mentioned, I want a violin in there, right? So let's pick a violin instruments from our instrument library. And I'm going to select one with the vibrato articulation so that it's more expressive. More, the more expressive it is, the more emotional it sounds. And that is the kind of and that's the kind of expression that we want to go for and um, let's perhaps increase the complexity of our melodic phrases more so that it's just not it's so it's not repetitive it's not boring you know it adds some spice into the melody for our composition so in that case oh one thing i've almost forgot there's there's no way for a style of music that is literally called break beat to have no drums whatsoever so let's do something about that so let's go ahead with adding a percussion layer for the percussion pack let's go for the drum and bass percussion pack and as the name suggests for the instruments let's go for the drum and bass kit cool so now we got a percussion layer the bass layer the chorus layer the harmony the melody layer and also the settings covered we basically pretty much have the backbone for the style that we want to use for our composition workflow. But before going forward with creating and editing our composition workflow, I'm going to quickly populate more instruments and accompaniment packs into each layer to, you know, diversify the sound palette of my style. And you can do the same and spend as much time as you want and customize your own style however you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to skip this part so that this video doesn't end up being 10 years long because I'm going to go into this rabbit hole and then just keep editing and editing forever. So I'm just going to skip this part and you're going to see a swipe. All right, now that I have done all the editings that I want to do for the style, let's go ahead with creating our composition workflow with this custom style that we just created together. So let's go back to our homepage under the styles tab and then let's go to the right see that three dot icon over here click on it and you can see a new option called new composition workflow this is where we can start entering the chord progression for our composition workflow that will later be generated in the custom style that we just created all right now we'll just have to come up with our chord progression so feel free to use the magic wand here to randomly generate one like that or generate one based on your text prompt so let's say like you know sad piano chords and let's go ahead with generating that see instant generation or if you like the old-fashioned way you can build one from scratch uh i actually liked the chord progression that we saw in the very first place this one right here so i'm just gonna keep it like that because it's in the minor key signature by the way you can check that in the setting you can check the key signature and change it from there the time signature as well as the tempo and anyway i like the minor key signature i like the mix of a major chords and minor chords for more expressiveness and we also have this extended seventh chord at the end of the chord progression like a major seventh chord to create more contrast and to convey more emotional depth so i'm happy with this chord progression so let's move on to the next step so moving on we can now see a snapshot of our composition in the editor this is essentially an eight bar loop with all of the layers that we defined earlier during the style creation process so Let's preview it and give it a listen. Nice. So you can further customize this by using our new features like layer and painting. Uh, you, you can you can you can do that by hovering your mouse over each of the layer and just click the magic wand and regenerate layer. And then you can experiment with new musical ideas instantly. And without further ado, let's go to the next step. And this is where we can name and save our composition workflow. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to name it sad piano break beat one 
I know, I know, boring name, I know. Well, next you can define the duration of the composition and also the number of composition that you wanna generate. And lastly, you just click the fat green button. Our composition will be generated. Yay. And there it is. That is our composition generated using our composition workflow and based on the custom style that we just created. And you can see how the parameters that we set in our style and combine with the chord progression that we entered earlier in our composition workflow resulted in a fully flash out arrangement with multiple sections and variations. And you can also use our new features. Let me show you a layer in painting or section in painting to diversify and to experiment with different musical ideas. So for example, you can use layer in painting like what I just did to generate different patterns inside a layer. Let me undo that. Or you can click one of the sections and then click regenerate notes in section A to utilize section in painting. So that will basically just repaint all of the layers within the section that you just selected. So this way, if you wish to personalize your composition even more, you can do just that by using our new features layer and section in painting. And that is pretty much it. I hope you find the information in this video useful and I hope y'all have fun with our new features. And if you like what you're seeing, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also feel free to join our Discord server with the link in the description below. And I'm Howard, music supervisor here at Ava, signing off.